hi everybody welcome back so in today's video this lady said this take a look baby when they said have friends that are doing better than you so your wins won't sound like bragging they were not lying and even if they're not doing better than you make sure your friends are secure in who they are what they offer their talents their gifts their journey because they'll still be able to celebrate you when it's not their season because they understand right now this may not be my time but my time is coming but feeling like you have to diminish your own accomplishments or dim your light to make them feel comfortable is ridiculous when you do accomplish something girl they won't say nothing not a like on a picture not a comment not an emoji it's like it's killing them to say congratulations cook 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 What's the problem? Cat got your tongue? Hey, you ho. Have friends who are doing better than you so your wins don't sound like bragging. Can somebody say amen? <laughs> it's true. Have friends who are doing better, at least on the same level as you, so your wins don't sound like bragging. It makes a lot of sense, right? Because surrounding yourself with people who are doing better than you encourages you to do better. And they hold you accountable they support you and because they've been there before they are able to give you advice okay and so it's better to surround yourself with people like that instead of narrow-minded people before we get into the video because i've set a goal for myself to get to 50k by the middle of this year please hit the subscribe button if this is the first time you're seeing my face or if you are a returning viewer who is not subscribed yet help me reach my goals okay anyway thank you so much in advance so a lot of people stitched her video with their responses and i'm going to play a few of those responses to you girls and i'll come back at the end of the video with my thoughts so let's get into the video baby when they said have friends that are doing better than you so your wins won't sound like bragging they were not lying she hit the nail on this one and this goes for family as well have family members in your life that is rooting for you and not competing with you and family members who want your light to shine and not for it to be dim. i'm like bragging they were not lying girl you're not wrong so when i was in my early 20s i used to always be that friend that always had the corporate job that always got the corporate money that was me and i had this group of friends that i used to hang out with all the time we hung out for years not really an issue but when i started moving into my corporate world jobs things got weird a little fast when i first got my first salary salary job i was making around sixty thousand dollars a year my first very my very first salary job i was ecstatic i had moved into my new apartment like it was amazing and around this time i had started to notice a shift in my friends they started having conversations with me about my money oh you always rubbing it in our face i would never have these conversations with them about how much money i made or what i did I would never have personal conversations with them about my finances ever because who does that it all came down to like they always felt bothered by everything that i did if i got a new car one of them would go get a new car and be like oh look at my new car like it was just petty foolishness and i was like okay this is ridiculous i'm finna exit because i gotta go right one friend in particular we'll just call him bob bob used to always come for me we would always be out in different areas like we would be at a party or something and then bob would be like oh drake i don't think you made that much money or drake i feel like you scamming or drake i feel like you're doing this i feel like you're doing that like literally unwarranted we could be talking about making macaroni and cheese and somehow the conversation would go about drake and how much money drake made weird clearly y'all some haters one day we was all on the phone just talking like we was on like a group facetime it was like 12 of us on the phone i had just moved into my new apartment so i was like you know what you know let's all have brunch and just hang out or whatever i don't know why i did that but i just felt like you know i just want a good vibe because at the end of the day well, i mean we were cool so right as we're so as we're discussing the menu of what we're going to bring i realized that bob it got quiet bob comes out of nowhere again as we're talking about food menu stuff because for brunch oh drake i don't think you make that much money you don't you don't do that you don't do this let me see your pay stubs let me see your pay stubs and so at this point i start going off like i'm tired of having this conversation every time i come around y'all somehow the conversation shifts on how much money i make when we're literally just literally talking about brunch y'all weird i ended up exiting the phone because at that point i'm not i turn off the facetime i exit the phone i'm not arguing with you no more you got it literally i heard a voice say get back on that phone so i got back on the facetime call right and as i'm joining back in they were all on that facetime call still and i heard bob say yeah and i started to say something about that bitch mama now if you don't know my mom passed away many years ago but when i was younger as i came back on the phone and he realized that i literally heard what he said about my mother the phone got quiet 
thought went to, oh, Drake, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. Da 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 oh, I'm so sorry, Drake. I'm so sorry. I blacked out. I started going off. Like, I literally started start cussing everywhere. Because one thing about it, you're not going to talk about my mom. When Bob said this, none of the other people on the phone defended me or came to my rescue or say, why would you say something like that? It was just total silence, and they were okay with that. We ended up not hanging out, ended up moving to Houston, and I just don't really talk to a lot of them like that anymore. And it's cool. That's fine. But I say all that to say this. Always keep friends around that are on your level because the ones that are not, sometimes they are going to be your worst enemy. And they're going to be your jealous and hateful enemies. Adding to that, I once had a friend tell me when I bought a new car, I am happy for you, but you always getting stuff that I want. Jealousy is real. And make sure you keep the right people around you because the wrong people will take you out and drag you down. Crazy. Sis, I hear you. However, however, you can have friends who are doing better than you and still be jealous of you because some people just have people around them so that they can feel better about themselves and when you stop being the friend that constantly needs help or is always struggling or something is going on in your life they will be so against you because you are not needy you don't make them feel good about themselves anymore and they will discard you but what i will say is have friends that have done emotional work to a point where they know that seasons change sometimes it's my season to win sometimes it's both our season to win sometimes it's just yours and that's okay have people that understand that it's not going to be all the time you winning and somebody else suffering and that when somebody else wins it doesn't take away from your winnings or what you have achieved or what you're yet to achieve guys be friend as much as you want to date people who have healed emotionally and who have done the work befriend the same people befriend the same people that have done that and it will save you from so much you will not have constant anxiety about evil eye or oh, i have to keep things secret because 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 we... befriend heal people continuously heal with your friend by your side there is enough pie in the world to go around okay and your turn is coming just like just like miss candace on the real housewives of potomac said the line keeps moving it's always going to be somebody else's turn whether it's good or bad it's always going to be somebody else's turn they were not lying no like seriously she is not lying i have ptsd from this um i end up like having myself distant from people i have a problem with even getting close to people that i first met or people that i've known for years i don't go over people's houses like i have it bad and i always wanted to bring so many people with me um anytime anybody is in my life i will uplift them i will encourage them i will invest in them not even just with the emotions and mindset and everything i will literally financially invest in people of uh, things that they want to do i've done it all and at the end of the day i realized that it doesn't matter what you do for people and i also notice when you do so much for someone it creates them to unappreciate you even more and they feel like it becomes a habit when they feel like you're obligated to do it and it's your job that you're supposed to do it i didn't had people work for me and be my staff but in their mind they're doing me a favor and they're helping me but i'm paying you to do the work so i just learned that not to hire friends not to hire family um the friends that i do have they are doing the same thing i'm doing or they're doing more than what i'm doing I always just try to bring so many people up out the mud when I don't have the mental capacity to even do it anymore at all. I refuse to. Um, 
even when it comes to like giving back i rather give back to people i don't know and won't ever see again or someone i don't know or you know just like i just limited my boundaries and everything because at the end of the day when you are a kind-hearted person when you find yourself doing so much for people you end up being the one hurt more than them and a lot of times people have limited expectations for you and your success and when you surpass their expectations and you are doing more than what they expected you to do they get pissed they get jealous i didn't have people do so much foul shit it don't make no sense so i am feeling everything that this girl just said and one thing i can say is praying helps a lot you have to pray you have to be resilient you have to actually have a strong foundation and relationship with god so that you are able and capable to continue on your business venture your education anything one thing that i have learned is success pisses people off and success when you do so much better in your life and when you heal to better yourself you will eliminate people from your life because they don't like it people are attracted to negativity and they are attached to it it grasps them some people don't know how to let it go some people don't know how to grow and when you do it they're going to get pissed but one thing i can say always put god first and always pray for discernment and always go with your gut feeling because your gut is not going to tell you wrong i don't think i've ever seen anything more accurate in my life i have a friend group that literally loves to support each other in literally whatever we do and i think the key to that is making sure you have friends that match your level of ambition because when you have friends that match your level of ambition they're never going to see your success as a threat they're never going to be jealous and say why not me instead they'll be inspired and if you have a great friend group like mine whenever one of us gets put on everybody gets put on like we all celebrate each other's successes jobs internships brand deals like we all love that for each other and if there's some way we can rope in our other friends we will do it if i see a job or a brand deal and it may not be for me but it's going to work for my friend or even if it's for me and still fits my friend i'm sending it to them that's just how we operate but yeah having a friend group that has the same level of ambition which is very high um is top tier and sometimes you're better off not telling people your dreams okay you're better off showing people your success before you start anything at all just keep your mouth shut don't tell anybody don't tell anybody shock them with your with your success when i started youtube in 2018 i made a grave mistake okay and i sent my video to my mom now my mom um didn't do she, she didn't do anything so about my mom okay but she got excited and she thought um, she was helping me grow my youtube so she sent it out to extended family okay and oh my god the backlash i got the discouragement i got the naysayers in the ridicule a lot of things led to me feeling discouraged and not putting in the work to achieve my dreams because i was worried about what people thought about me at that time i was so worried about people's approval and i've healed and i've learned but when i started this channel this last year in august i decided not to tell anybody okay i decided not to tell any and the results are showing for themselves to this day a lot of people don't know that except my mom a lot of people don't know that i've started youtube i told her not to share and she just learned her lesson she was like uh, never again i've learned my lessons nobody's going to find out about this and i'm praying that they only find me when I reach 100,000 subscribers or even they don't find me at all because it will be better if they don't know what I'm doing because if you don't believe in me and you don't believe in my goals or my dreams and my plans and you want to shit on my dreams you don't deserve you don't deserve a seat, a seat at my table because I know you and I know who you are you don't want to see me do better you enjoy when you are on top and you you love it when I'm at the bottom do you think I should continue extending invitation to you to, you know, have access to my life? Absolutely not. I'll be a fool if I continue doing that. So sometimes your best bet is keeping your mouth shut. Friends, family, relatives, relationships, just don't tell them. Show them your success. Have you heard the quote that strangers support you 
more than friends. I'll probably put it somewhere here. That's why your friends may not support you when they see that you're doing well. Your relatives may not support you. And sometimes they may even try to discourage you. It's not like they hate you. Sometimes it's a bit of shame mixing there. It's like, how come she's doing well? You make them realize that they are not doing a lot for themselves. That's why they end up feeling a bit awkward around you. And sometimes those ones who envy you will go to Lent to bring you down because they don't want to see you win. So be mindful of, of that as well, okay? So surround yourself with people, like-minded people. People who have already been there, who have a lot of experiences, so they can teach you, okay? So they can push you, so they can direct you, okay? So so they can hold you accountable, so that you can also win. I, I feel like this is the best advice that anybody can give to you, okay? Surround yourself with people who are doing better than you. But also be aware that not everybody who is doing better than you wants you to do better because they are afraid that you may end up doing better than them some of them enjoy the fact that you are not doing better okay they love having you beneath them to make themselves feel better as long as you're not doing better than them they are fine the moment you start doing better than them oof, you have a problem and because of that sometimes it becomes a bit of a competition all right they they really don't see don't want to see you win they want to see you do okay but they don't want you to do better than them so be aware of that as well but anyway let me know about what you think about all of this in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again with another video take care of yourselves bye